The whole point of a lead funnel and a lead magnet is to earn leads. It's right there in the name. That's why you spend all that time creating lead magnets and optimizing your lead funnels to capture as many as you can. Those leads are the lifeblood of your business. And much like the real blood inside you, you don't want to lose too many of them. Lose too many, your business dies. Unfortunately, a lot of businesses are losing leads that they don't even know they could be getting. And they're losing it to organic search. How's that, you ask? They've got a leak in their lead funnel that's costing them thousands of opportunities a month, and most of them don't even realize it. And the same could be happening to you. Today, I'm gonna tell you how to find, fix, and clean up after those leaks so you can fill your funnel more effectively. If you've got a great lead generation funnel, you've got lead magnets. Those lead magnets are the reason people offer you their contact information. If those magnets become compromised, your lead funnel will break down. A lead generation funnel leak is a sign of that breakdown. Your lead magnets, if not dealt with carefully, can be indexed by Google. That's going to put a direct link to them into the SERPs or the search engine results pages. Whenever anyone searches for the content that your lead magnet provides, they'll get a direct link to your resource. They'll also be able to access it without filling out your lead capture form. That's going to undermine all the SEO work that you've already put forward. If you've got a complete lead funnel in place, this is the only way you might have a lead. However, other leaks can occur if you're missing parts of your lead funnel, specifically lead capture forms. If you offer information that might make a great lead magnet, like white papers and other media, without a lead capture form, you're missing a huge opportunity. There should be no critical information on your website in a downloadable media format that's not behind a lead capture gate. You should also consider what other advanced information, like interactive content, you should require contact information for before you allow access to it. These are opportunities to earn qualified leads that you're currently leaking. Anytime the basics of your lead funnel break down and cost leads, you're experiencing a leak. You need to fix them ASAP. By now, you're probably concerned that you're facing a lead generation funnel leak. Like many small business owners, you can't afford to lose qualified leads to a correctable situation. Today, I'll walk you through the process of finding lead funnel leaks, identifying the problems that they've caused, correcting those problems, and cleaning up the leftover mess. Very little of this is technical in nature. However, if you become stumped, a website development professional or SEO professional should be able to help you without much issue. Let's walk through examining your lead generation funnel for leaks and how to fix them when you find them. The first thing you need to know is whether or not you have a lead funnel leak. If your audience can bypass your landing pages for any of your lead magnets and go straight to the prize, you've got one. But how do you determine if that's currently happening to you? Start by searching for your lead magnet on Google. You'll need to perform a couple of searches to make this work. The first thing you want to search is the name of your lead magnet. Use double quotes around it to get an exact match. If you're promoting it in calls to action and landing pages on your site, you should have a few results. This is especially true if it's got a unique name. However, what you shouldn't find is a direct link to the lead magnet. If you find that, you have a correction to make, which we'll get into in a bit. If you're using PDFs, Word docs, Excel files, or any other media type as lead magnets, you can search for those more generically. Just use the following code that I'll put right here, replacing my site information with yours. By typing this directly into the search box, you're telling Google to search the domain that you specified for the files that you specified. You can replace PDF with any file format that your lead magnet is in. Again, if you find a direct link to your lead magnet in the search results page, you've got to wait for your audience to bypass your landing page. That's a leak. You're going to need to shore these up. But first, prioritize. Not every index lead magnet is going to be a leak. Some of them won't even get visited directly. However, some of them are going to wind up being a major traffic source that's not going to give you the value it should. Those are the ones you want to correct first. You immediately want to start bringing those visitors into your lead funnel so you can get the chance to earn them as leads. But there's a problem. PDFs and other media types can't be tracked with the Google Analytics code. That means you won't immediately see whether they're an issue. However, there's still a resource that can help you. The Google Search Console, or GSC for short, can tell you how often these links got traffic from Google. It's pretty simple to use too. Head over to the performance tab on the left side, add a page filter for pages that end in the file type that your lead magnet is saved in, and click the pages tab in the results. You can see exactly how many times they've shown up in search results and how many times they brought traffic to your site. Start by looking at the lead magnets that you have behind a landing page or called the action form. The ones that are getting search traffic are the biggest issues. These are the people who got information contained in your lead magnet without filling out your lead form. They're likely qualified lead candidates that you lost to your lead. Follow that by examining PDF and other files that aren't gated. These are areas you might be losing an opportunity on because you aren't asking for contact information. You'll notice if you have leads, that these often get much more traffic than their associated landing pages. They also tend to make up a surprisingly high percentage of your traffic. But all that traffic ultimately holds less value to you because you didn't get the contact information. These are issues you've got to fix quickly. Now that you know where your leaks are and which ones are the worst, you know what you need to take care of. What do you do exactly? That's going to depend entirely on how your lead funnel is leaking. Let's start with the lead magnets that are getting traffic 
that are supposed to be behind landing pages and lead forms. Maybe they're video courses or interactive pages on your site, or maybe they're downloadable files. You need to redirect search traffic from those back to your lead forms. The safest way to do that so you don't lose the search traffic entirely is with a 301 redirect. A 301 redirect is a way of telling your server to redirect traffic from point A to point B that also tells search engines that the content's moved to a new spot. It moves the traffic without hurting your search rank. Done correctly, it's gonna send that search traffic to your lead form and put them back in your funnel. That can be complex to do, so you might wanna enlist the help of a website development or SEO professional. You need to do this for every lead magnet that isn't downloadable, so work with those next. After that, you can handle the downloadables that aren't getting traffic. Those are better handled with a no-index directive. This directive tells Google and other search engines to keep this page out of the search results. It should be added to all new lead magnets as well. That stops leaks from happening in the future. Adding this directive is less technical than a 301, but still might need assistance. However, if you can handle basic code, all you need to do is add a meta tag to your lead magnet's header. I'll put it right here. And just like that, Google will stop indexing your lead magnet. You'll need to do this for every HTML-based lead magnet. For the media files, you've got to edit your HT access file. Again, we're entering the technical zone here. The HT access file is a dangerous place to play if you don't know what you're doing. If you need instructions on what to do, you'll likely need help with it. However, with a simple change, you can stop Google from indexing your media lead magnets and leaking your leads. For anything that doesn't already have a lead capture form, you might want to correct that too. Otherwise, you're allowing your biggest leak to persist. Just like that, you stopped losing valuable lead data. What about those links that have already been indexed? You gotta take care of those too. Unfortunately, because those leaks happen, they left a mess in their wake. You're not worried about the ones you built a 301 redirect for. Those will be redirected back to your lead capture. It's the other ones you noticed. Those links that have already been indexed won't go away unless you tell them to. Thankfully, within the GSC, Google has made it easy and fast to remove those links. The URL removal tool temporarily removes the page from index. By de-indexing them for 90 days, you now have time to make any changes. However, since you've already indicated that you don't want them indexed, you don't have to do anything else. After 90 days, Google will crawl them again. When they do, the no index will be present and Google will skip indexing them for those files and URLs. That's gonna stop future traffic from being impacted by past mistakes. From here on out, all your traffic should wind up in front of a lead capture form instead of leaking through search. You can't afford to lose any more leads through a leaky lead generation funnel. Take the steps we went over to make sure everyone who wants your lead magnet becomes your lead. You'll see a ton more value from all the work you spend optimizing those funnels and building those campaigns. Most importantly, you can prevent these leaks from happening in the future. That's gonna make your lead generation funnel and the efforts you put into it more effective for your growth. That's it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you got some real value out of it and now you understand how to take care of a leaking lead funnel and actually how to remove some things from Google too. If you found value in this video, do me a favor, hit that like button right there. While you're at it, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. We'll catch you next Friday with another video. Have an excellent week. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's video. While I still have you, I wanna help you learn to capture more leads. Today, I'm gonna to share with you our lead generation checklist. In order to download it, all you have to do is visit bistroconcepts.com slash YouTube hyphen lead hyphen checklist. Put your first name, last name, and email address in the form, and we'll email this to you so you can put it to use immediately. Your website has one job to do. Make sure it does it the best that it possibly can with this checklist. It'll walk you through everything you need to capture more leads right now. This checklist will help you understand what you need to do to capture leads through your website, create each element effectively, learn how all these elements direct your leads, determine what data you need to collect for improvement, and earn more leads through your website. If you're ready to put your website to work and earn back what you invested into it, this checklist is a logical answer. Download it now and make your website work right. Again, all you have to do to download it is visit visualconcepts.com slash YouTube hyphen lead hyphen checklist. Put your first name, last name, and email address in the form and we'll email it to you to put to use immediately so you can start earning more leads through your website right now.